So I'm going to show you how to butcher a chicken the proper way. So let's get started. So butchering a chicken is a must for every professional chef and as a home cook it's definitely a nice skill to have in your arsenal. Now not only is butchering your whole chickens good for your wallet but it's also good to know this specific skill because if you know how to butcher a chicken you're gonna know how to butcher any kind of bird whether that's a duck or a pigeon or even a turkey having this skill in your arsenal is going to make you a better cook at the end of the day so i learned this specific technique when i was working in tokyo but it wasn't chickens we were actually butchering quail but the same technique remains and i'm going to be showing you how to butcher the breasts a different way that you probably haven't seen before so make sure to watch until the end because i'm going to break down in detail what goes into butchering this whole chicken when it comes to the legs, the breasts, and what you wanna do with the bones for chicken stock. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing the wings from the drumette. And what you wanna look for here is the joint that connects the drumette and the wing together. And it's going to have a kind of ridge right here in the middle. And you just wanna kind of feel for that joint in between. And once you find that joint, you can simply just slice through. So here is our first wing. And now our second wing. So next I'm going to be removing the legs and what I want to look for here is a thin flap of skin in between the breast and the leg and I want to make an incision down this thin flap of skin and I'm basically going to reveal now the flesh of the leg. And this is what I want. I want to actually visually see the leg. So now I'm going to hold the breast lightly and bend that leg back until the femur bone pops out. Now once that femur bone is exposed, it's going to be really simple and straightforward to run our knife down behind that femur bone to now disconnect it from the hip of the chicken. Now I'm going to move on to the second leg and you're going to see this once again. So now I'm going to show you how to remove the backbone from the chicken. The backbone is an amazing piece of the chicken for your stocks and sauces. So as you can see, I'm now peering into the cavity of the chicken. This is where you would stuff the chicken and this is where the intestines used to be. And right here, there's this small piece of flesh connecting the breast skin to the backbone that wraps all the way around. And what I really want to do here is I want to make an incision in between that so that I can disconnect it completely. And then I can simply snap that backbone off. And here you can see a small piece of flesh that's exposed. And that's what we're going to use to run our knife down that piece of flesh, completely severing the backbone from the breastplate. So now what we're left with is the crown of the chicken and this crown is very prized within restaurant kitchens. What we usually like to do is to cook this in a pan and then baste with a ton of butter 
and this just adds a lot of flavor and it keeps the breast very moist because we're cooking it on the bone. So next I'm going to show you how to cleanly remove the collarbone of the chicken also known as the wishbone and this is going to make it a lot easier when we take the breasts off. So what you want to do is you want to take a small paring knife and you just want to scrape the outside of each side of the collarbone and you want to basically expose that bone. And then once the collarbone is now exposed, I'm going to take my paring knife or a regular size knife and I just want to slice right down through putting some pressure to take the bone off of that shoulder blade. So now that the collarbone is disconnected from each shoulder blade, there's going to be a small ridge where they both meet and it's going to be connected to the breastplate. And the way we're going to disconnect that from the breastplate is we're going to hold it firmly and we're going to push in almost like a key and we're gonna turn it until it just simply disconnects from that breastplate. The reason why you want to remove this very cleanly is because if it snaps you're going to have small shards of bone inside the flesh maybe and it might easily cut you as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the breasts and the way I love to do this and the way I was taught in Tokyo which is something that I traditionally didn't do when butchering chickens was I laid it on its side. I laid the crown on its side and it makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing almost like when you're filleting fish. So both breasts have a center bone within the middle and what you want to do is depending on which breast you're taking off whether that's the left one or the right one you want to put your knife slightly on the edge of that center bone and just make an incision down all the way towards the cavity. Now what I love to do is I just don't want to use my knife and let that do the work but I also want to use my hands. I want to use my fingers and I want to kind of pry the meat out very gently so that I can expose that bone and while I do that I'm going to follow that with my knife. And as I follow that with my knife, I'm making sure to stay really, really close to the bone and not go towards any flesh, nicking any flesh, but just simply going against the bone and just taking my time. Now the breastplate has almost an oval shape to it and the ribs you want to make sure that you're keeping your knife against those and just working around those ribs all the way to that drumette that we still kept intact and in between the shoulder blade and the drumette there's going to be a joint and what we want to do is find that joint and slice right through and that's going to leave us with something called an airline breast and the reason for that of course is because that drumette Part of the wing is still on there. So next I'm going to remove the tenderloin from the breast and it's really easy to do this. You're just going to find that little strip, that tenderloin and you can just literally peel it right off. So not every time the tenderloin is going to come off so easily but you can simply take your knife and disconnect it like so. So next I'm going to remove that drumette because I want to use it in a stock. You can also obviously make chicken wings with this with the drum and the wing but I'm going to use it for my stock. So there is our drumette. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the second breast. Just remember to keep that knife as close to the bone as possible and this is butchery 101 regardless of what it comes down to whether it's a rabbit or a John Dory or any kind of meat you always want to make sure the tip of your knife is as close to the bone as possible. And 
once again, I'm going to find the joint between the shoulder blade and that drumette, and I'm going to slice right through, completely disconnecting the breast from its plate. Now I'm going to remove the second tenderloin, and this one came off pretty easily. So here is our whole chicken. Now lastly, I'm gonna show you how to part the drum and the thigh from the chicken leg. And I think you know where this is going. The most important thing right now is to find that joint and to find that ridge in between that joint and just feel it with your finger. So there's actually another way to cut through the joint without actually finding it. With every leg, there's going to be this fat line running across the thigh and the drum. So what you want to do is you want to take your knife and you want to put it to the edge of that fat line right beside it towards the drum. And we're just going to be able to now slice through. And if you follow that fat line towards the drum, you're going to always get that joint. And for our chicken stock, So that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And now that you understand the anatomy of a chicken, you're going to be able to butcher any kind of bird, whether that's a duck or a turkey or quail. And that's going to make you a better, more versatile cook in the kitchen. So if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with a bunch of tutorials just like this on how to butcher different kinds of meat, whether that be quail or duck or rabbit. And I'm going to be showing you how to fillet fish the way I learned in Japan, the same exact techniques they use when making sushi, for example. So definitely subscribe for that and stay tuned. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. But until then, keep on cooking.